Yeah. You already know what it is, man. Let him know. He's back. Stepping in this thing like he never left. Stepping in this thing like he never left. He's back. Stepping in this thing like he never left. Stepping in this thing like he never left. He's back. Stepping in this thing like he never left. Stepping in this thing like he never left. He's back. Stepping in this thing like he never left. Stepping in this thing like he never left. What's up, what's up, good people? It is your boy, Big Nick, Nick Crenshaw for some, uh, letting you know that we are here again with another episode of What That Walk Like. Yes, today, we will be talking about what that mouth do. Mm, mm, mm. So, before we even get started, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, Get that out the way, like now. Nah. So, what that mouth do? Today's episode is about how things that come from your mouth can build you up or tear you down and tear the people around you down. Like, it might be for your benefit or it might be for your downfall, baby. So, let's get in it. Let's get let's start talking about it. So we gonna get get to what we get to now. I know what y'all thinking about. I know. I think when you think when we think the government, I understand. But we got to talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, one one of the biggest things for me is using your mouth to build versus destroy. So, one of the best things that I think that anyone can do is speak greatness over their own lives. Like there's a whole, everybody always talk about the haters and people that don't talk right to you. But sometimes you have to take time to speak blessings and greatness over your life. Now I heard a whole bunch of people use different terms like manifest things and all that. And I believe that things will manifest over time. But I think that the Bible and scripture always talks about that you can speak life into situations and you can speak life into your personal situation and into your personal life. You can say, I will be responsible. I will be strong. I will be focused. I will be committed. Um, I am beautiful. I am wonderfully made by God. There is no part of me that has been a mistake. Uh, I am strong. I am focused on the things that God has for me. I will experience all that God has for me. There is nothing that will be kept from me uh, by the Father because he loves me. He loves me dearly. No matter what anybody else has to say or their opinion of me, he loves me dearly. Now with that also comes an additional responsibility. The other responsibility that you hold is like my grandmama used to say, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Like y'all, y'all fun acting. I'm telling you right now, you fun acting. Cause one, you have a hard time saying positive things about yourself. With that, you have a hard time saying positive things about anybody else. So, is the real problem that you have a hard time just being positive. Don't let your hurt hurt others. Don't let your disappointment in self be a disappointment for others. Don't, don't let how you limit the view of yourself allow you to limit the view of the people around you that don't feel limited. Some people never felt negative about themselves until they ran into you. So, even if you're an opinionated person, which you have every right to be, doesn't mean that you need to share that opinion. Sometimes you just need to keep it to yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice about this, but it's real. You just need to be quiet and keep that to yourself. Now, another thing that has helped me over the years uh, in some of the darkest periods in my life and uh, in some of the best periods of my life, all the same, same, same tool. You can 
what you can do with your mouth is praise and worship. Now, I know it's churchy and cliche and all that other good stuff, but it's real. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if you learn how to have a, a constant attitude of gratitude through how you praise God and thank him for even being able to wake up, thank him for working things out in your behalf, on your behalf, without you having to be a part of it. Thank him for the future and the purpose and the plan that he has already set for you. Thank him for covering your family, your kids, your mama, your auntie, your, your sisters, your brothers, uh, your cousin. Thank him for doing that. Thank him for the resources that you do have. Even if you don't, you don't know where tomorrow's meal came is going to come from, you ate today. It was a stick of gum. You ain't something. Your breath is fresher. That, I can say. You got some fresh breath because of the gum God gave you. <laughs> Think about that type of thing. These are the things that I pray that you take the time to really learn how to appreciate. I know I'm being silly, but for real, for real. If you learn how to have an attitude of gratitude, you welcome in great things into your life. If you speak positive things over your own life, it's gonna be hard for somebody just to speak negative over your life. And if you speak positive things over other people's life, you don't know who you're encouraging today that's gonna to bless you tomorrow. Do the right thing. Keep it quiet if you can't. So, love y'all, man. Welcome back. We about to get it in now. Now, like the, the subscribe button, no, you already did that because you supposed to do that at the beginning though. You just don't know how to be obedient. God gonna have to deal with that anyway. So, a subscribe button, that notification button is something I didn't say. I'm saying now though, please push the note because if you know it's coming, then you don't have to look for it if you know it's coming and the only way you can do that is a notification button. Anyway, click, do that. In addition to that, push the like button. I don't care if you like me. Push the button anyway. I ain't gonna ask you. Just push the button. That's all I need you to do. God bless you. God keep you. And I have blessings over your family. There's a song I was gonna sing, but I can't remember the words. God bless you. See y'all next time, man.